Munapo tuambia hapa tulikana karibuni nyumbani. Inamaanisha ya kwamba Kenya na dunia ni moja. Itakuwa ni jambo ambao haifai tukisema Kenya kuja pamoja wananchi na dunia kuja turukana lakini tukiwa katika Kenya tuanze mirengo ya kikabila. Na hiyo ndiyo maana tunashukuru Mungu kwamba wakati tunaenda mbele kama viongozi hatutakuwa na nafasi ya kusema tusiguze hapa, tusiguze kule na tusiguze sehemu nyingine. Tunataka tuguze Kenya yote kwa sababu Kenya ni moja na wananchi wa Kenya wako pamoja. Na kwa hivyo siku ya leo ni, ni furaha kubwa mimi nikitoka Nandi kuja hapa Turkana tumepata governor kutoka Nyeri amekuja Turkana governor kutoka Taraka Nithi amekuja Turkana na unajua hii magavana wawili hawa iko na historia nzuri huyu wa Nyeri ndio governor wa yule uh, deputy president ambaye anaondoka sasa Taraka Nithi ni governor wa yule president deputy president mpya anayeingia katika inchi na mimi nilisema lazima ni walete wote hapa kwa sababu Kenya lazima ikuwe moja. Ama mnasema nini watu wa Turkana? Si ndio hiyo? Kaiga ni governor wa Rijiji. Eh, Njuki ni governor wa Profesa Kiture Kindiki. Na wote wamekuja Turkana kuja kusema tumerudi nyumbani. Kumaanisha hapa Turkana ni nyumbani ya Kindiki na ni nyumbani ya Rijiji na ni nyumbani ya President William Ruto na tuko tayari kuwa jamii moja ya Kenya ili tuende mbele. Sisi tumekubaliana jameni. Ukiangalia wale magovernors tumekuja hapa, we represent Kenya. Kuna governor kutoka Central, kuna governor kutoka Western mimi, North Eastern, Rift Valley, Eastern, North Eastern. Tunataka Kenya ikae hivyo tuwe kitu kimoja. Tuko hapa ikiwa ni sherehe ya pili tangu tukue na serikali mpya. Watu wa Turkana katika ile mura ingine mulipiga kura katika milengo yote. Na mimi nakumbuka last time kuna wengine mulikataza kuongea hapa. Lakini saa hii mimi najua tunajua zote kupitia kwa rais wetu tuko kwa ile inaitwa broad based government. Kwa hivyo kila mtu yako pale ndani. Na hiyo ni kitu ya maana sana kwa sherehe kama hizi. Kwa hivyo rais atakuwa anakuja kesho na si anakuja all of us will be on one side which is the side of the government of Kenya which is the most important thing tourism katika nchi ya Kenya kwa miaka mingi imeangaliwa katika ile hali ya kuona wanyama na kuona beaches na kuona ile vitu ambayo imeweza patikana katika sehemu yoyote katika nchi ya Kenya lakini sisi tumepuuza ile inaitwa cultural tourism na tunawashukuru watu wa Turkana kwa kuanzisha hafla hii ili tuweze kama nchi ya Kenya tuanze kushughulikia na kusherekea utamaduni wetu kwa sababu hii ndio hali Mwenyezi Mungu alitupatia. Unaweza pata wanyama wa porini katika dunia nzima lakini kupata culture kama hii ya Turkana hapa hauwezi kupata mahali ingine katika dunia nzima. Kwa hivyo we want to be part and parcel and congratulate the Turkana County government for this great initiative and we want to ask the national government and we know the president believes in this that let us focus on cultural tourism na wale ambao tunatoka north Vim, let us also focus on sports tourism ili tuweze kuleta wananchi tulete watalii na tulete dunia nzima iweze kufika katika Turkana county na katika nchi ya Kenya mimi nauliza watu wetu wa Turkana kupitia kwako governor wa support agenda ya rais wetu na agenda ya serikali ile ya universal health coverage ambaye tunasema tumemaliza ile NHIF sasa hii tuko kwa ile inaitwa SHA na tumeomba kila mtu ajiandikishe ndio aweze kupata huduma ya hospitali wewe kama uko na pesa au una pesa serikali imesema ushughulikie katika ile haja zako zote za za afya za hospitali that is what we want to deliver as a government mimi huwa na chair council of governors chama ya health na mkifanya hivyo governor wenu atakuwa amefurahi sana zaidi hata kuliko mimi karibisha katika jukwaa jeshi uh, bendi ya jeshi la hukumu muweze kuwa ange ili 
mweze kuwa tayari kutupakia wimbo wa taifa na wimbo wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Kwa hivyo tuwe tayari mgeni wa heshima akifika tu. Tunafurahia utamaduni wetu pamoja na maeneo mbalimbali ambayo ni vivutio vya utalii. Pia tunawaeleza kwamba tushiriki katika upanzi wa miti ili kudhibiti tabia nchi. Na tunamashiriki Matumbuizo Naige sehemu ya matumbuizo na kwa sababu sherehe hii inashikanisha ndugu zetu kutoka Ateker tutapeana nafasi ndogo ndogo tutawapa nafasi kwa sababu wamesimama hapo kwa muda mrefu na kikundi kutoka Uganda tafadhali mjitarishe tutana county song number 1 choir tafadhali muwe pale na ndugu zangu munisaidie kusanya hao watu China Embassy China Embassy Uganda Grand Climax Nyangatom, if you are ready I would like to recognize the arrival of Ladies and gentlemen, the proposed KVB strategic plan 2023-2027 seeks to address several identified gaps, including weak and inadequate enforcement and compliance to set veterinary standards, low access to quality veterinary services, weak monitoring and institutional capacity. I'm aware that the total cost of implementing the new strategic plan is, pl is estimated at Kenya shillings 1.75 billion, spread over five-year period. For this, Kenya shillings 115.7 million is earmarked for improvement of enforcement and compliance to set the veterinary standards. Kenya shillings 75.5 million for enhancing access to quality veterinary services. Another 17.979 million for strengthening and monitoring, evaluation and learning, and knowledge management, and institutional capacity building. The bulk of it, well, uh, some of them, 727.7 for strengthening institutional capacity and 812.86 million improving the management and coordination of KV bo board functions, including digitization of the board services. My, minis my, ministry, <coughs> my, ministry continues, my ministry will continue to offer the necessary support to ensure that the new K VB strategic plan implementation is a success to enable the government attain the United Nations 2030 agenda for sustainable development. The ministry, by self and the PS, we'll be looking forward to supporting you in terms of your registration and in terms of making sure that uh, whatever you come up with, especially on uh, the regulations, we include issues to do with where areas where you can improve on own source revenue. 
because as we move of, as you move ahead and the chair will not tell you but we are looking ahead but what we are seeing is that the exchequer is getting more constrained and constrained because of the various needs which are coming through so we are encouraging our agencies to look at ways and means of ensuring that you have your own source revenue OSR and there you can only get it if you get the registration correct I would like to, to congratulate the board on this significant achievement in developing such a comprehensive strategic plan this plan will strengthen the enforcement of standards in veterinary training and practice to, en to enhance growth of the animal resource industry I encourage the board to maintain its current momentum in addressing malpractices observed in laboratories, clinics, agrovets, and other veterinary facilities. I know we have received with P.S. Mweke some complaints of uh, from vets that they are being, the regulators are being too harsh on them. But we also tell them that you have to comply. Tell some drugs which are prescribed drugs no, on an open counter. And when the enforcing, enforcement is done, you say that you are being harassed. That is not true. You are supposed to comply with the rules. So we have been telling them that, yes, our agencies will help you to comply. But you also have to adhere to the law. You have to adhere to the law. The issue, I, we have noted also that uh, the board does not have enough uh, staff. Because in order for you to do your work, you also need the staff, the necessary staff. The number of staff, about 30 there in the, among 100, is not adequate. So CEO, the, the chair, and uh, knock on our offices with the, with the peers. We'll be able to help you where we can to, to be able to help you. Because you cannot do the work without the staff, the, the human capital. To be able to avail uh, services which are affordable to all uh, animal keepers, we want to introduce and we have started to have an integrated veterinary regulatory management system. Uh, with that information, we will be doing uh, data and knowledge management and therefore get evidence to advise uh, the government uh, at large. Then, uh, also strengthen our institutional capacity so that we have efficient service delivery. Key is a digitization, quality management system, increased revenue collection, increased absorption of any funds that are sent to us, employee satisfaction, and most of all, employee retention. Sector, and as a ministry, and by extension as a government, we are doing a lot but we are speaking least of what we do. We don't tell Kenyans what we do. The fact that we don't tell Kenyans what we do, social media is, a, media is awash with people who have never been to any school that is relevant, especially to comment on agriculture, who have no background to comment on issues in agriculture. Agriculture issues are very technical, and I've, I, I, if you speak to the veterinary, you know, you know the regulatory function of the vet, the Kenya Veterinary Board, you find somebody discussing your work as if they have always been there, as if they are consultants in this particular field. Let us not keep quiet when they speak. Let us try to unlearn the Kenyans of that of, of literature and learn the Kenyans appropriately so that we can move in the right direction. So please speak about what you are doing so that Kenyans can know your relevance and your place in the society and in development as it were. The other issue I wanted to basically I refer to is the focus on quality. Kenya is, has been benchmarked for a very long time as a true source of quality. In Africa, and even the world at lunch, when people speak about the competent agencies, competent you know, authorities in Kenya, uh, we, they know you, they even know the leadership by name. And that is really important recognition. We should never lose that. Not just losing, let's try to em enhance it so that we're even better recognized as we move on. One. Okay, there we go. The strategic plan is now launched. Makofi Tena. Makofi. Makofi Tena.
strategic plan is now being presented to the guest of honor. Cameraman. They are the chair of KVB and our guest, chief guest today. Yes. Another copy to the PS. Yes. Another copy to the very important copies. Need it. Board members, this is a very powerful board. You can see my friend Mr. Pacho. Pacho in the knuckle. Okay. The regulators are being too hard on them. But we also tell them that we have to control. But I would like to hear the uh, National Assembly is about communication. We have been given much in and the Animal Welfare and Protection Bill 2019. These bills are integral in the performance of the livestock sector. I will endeavor to work with. These include registration to include veterinary practice and veterinary medicine of the board services. My ministry, my, ministry, <clears throat> my ministry continues. My mission is a success to enable the government attain the United Nations 2030 agenda for only called better and the fourth medium term agriculture transformation and growth strategy. The industry that are here with us today, all the CEOs and all the chairmen that are here, but we also have the small hands that we say who are the members of the KVD, Agutu, the never say never lady, the one who never gives up, the one who will always be pushing forward. Management and institutional capacity building. The bulk of it, well, some of the 727 points. That plan, we plan to have at least six regions that are going to be uh, around the country, all over the country. And those six regions are going to help us uh, be able to regulate the activities of the veterinary and the veterinary services on the ground. And those... Uh, offices is where we are going to have inspectors and they will be there to help the public comply with the regulations that govern the veterinary profession and especially that that govern the disease control and we are going to also to be able to regulate the training at that level. So anybody who has been tra uh, treating animals Without, uh, without being certified, I think this particular strategic plan is going to help us get rid of such people. Because we know very well that we've been constrained uh, previously because we've not been able to have adequate uh, resources in terms of personnel and in terms of offices. And therefore, the Kenyans should be happy that soon you are going to have personnel at the ground level to help you be able to comply with the regulations so that our people can have safe food and also be able to trade both locally, regionally and internationally. We actually benchmark our regulatory uh, instruments with the international uh, standards and this allows the country to be able to trade in livestock and livestock uh, products that are safe so that our country can be able to move forward. And therefore this strategic plan is forward looking. So we urge the public to help us that when we come around, you are able to interact with us at the grassroots level. Uh, my name is uh, Kelvin Osore. I'm the national chairman of the Kenya Veterinary Association. As a Kenya Veterinary Association, we also want to urge the government, uh, especially on the issues to do with the internship pay, uh, the veterinary interns in the country are really struggling. Uh, whatever they're being paid at the moment, which is about 30,000 Kenyan shillings, is way below what their professional training entails, is way below what their medical uh, counterparts earn. And we've been uh, uh, pleading with the government to actually relook uh, this issue for a long time.